Okay, everyone, so in this video, we're going to go through um, percent by mass and molarity. So let's look at this first example scenario. So you are a medical doctor vacationing at the Grand Canyon. You run across someone who has fallen gravely ill when they broke their ankle. They're severely dehydrated from being exposed to severely hot desert weather and no water. In order to save them, you must get the correct amount of saline into their system. Saline is normally 0.9% mass by volume of sodium chloride to water. You have water and salt, but you need to mix them in the correct ratio. So our task is to calculate the amount of salt and water you need to make a 1500 gram total, um, 15 grams total of saline solution, okay? So the, in this information, we know that saline is 0.9% by mass salt to water. And when we look at this, our formula for percent by mass is the mass of the solute, the part we're looking for, divided by the total mass of the solution times 100. Now, it could also be separated um, depending on how they give it to you. They could give you the grams of the solute and the solvent separately. So the formula could look like this, okay? So when we're doing percent by mass and we're looking, we know that in this case, our percent by mass is 0.9%, okay? So they actually already gave us <coughs> the mass percent, and they told us that we want to have a total mass of 1,500 grams. So that means they've given us this part and this part, the mass of the solution. Um, but what they want to know is they want to calculate the amount of salt and water. So they want to know the amount of salt, which is the mass of our solute, but they also want to know how much of that 1,500 grams is going to have to be solvent. So they're looking at this in two different parts. So let's first solve for the mass of salt. So solute is our salt in this case. Water is always our solvent. So what we'll do is we'll first go ahead and plug in what we know. We know that we have 0.9% by mass saline. We know that the mass of our solute, we do not know, so I'm just going to put X. The total mass of our solution is 1,500 grams, and it's multiplied by 100. Now, in order to get X by itself, we need to, <coughs> excuse me, we need to, uh, move some things over. So remember to move something from one side of the equal sign to another, you do the opposite. So the first thing we want to look at is this times 100. To get rid of it, we'll do the opposite on both sides. So divide by 100. So that will go away. And 0.9% divided by 100 is 0 0.009. And that gets rid of your percent sign. And we know that's equal to x over 1500 grams. Now, since x is being divided by 1,500, what you can do is you can multiply by 1,500 grams on both sides to get x by itself. So this cancels out, and that tells us that x, or the mass of our solute, is 1,500 times 0 0.009. That gives us 13.5 grams of salt because remember X is our mass of our solute. Okay, so we know this part. We also know that they wanted to know the amount of water. Well, if we have, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. If we have 1500 grams total, okay, and it's our water and our salt, right? This is our total saline, and saline is both salt and water. We know that if our salt is 13.5 grams, that the water must be the rest. So 1,500 minus 13.5 gives us 1,486.5 grams of water. And then we have 13.5 grams of NaCl. So that's actually both of our answers together. So this is just an example of how you would use this formula. Percent by mass is just another way to measure concentration. Okay, so when we're thinking about concentration, it's the amount of our particles um, relative to one another. The solute particles relative to the solvent 
So um, let's look at another way to calculate concentration. So this scenario, you're wanting to make a supersaturated solution of sugar. We'll learn what supersaturated means um, in another lesson. Of sugar and water in order to make rock candy. You look it up on the internet. It says you need to make a solution that has a concentration of 6, milli, uh, six molar. So the way you say that out loud would be 6 molar. Okay. If you have a pot that has a mark on it where 1.5 liters is, so we know that if something is liters, that that makes it um, a measure of our volume. How many grams of sugar would you need? So this is the question. How many grams of sugar would you need to add in order to make the right concentration in a total volume of 1.5 liters? So molarity, which is represented by a capital letter M, um, is equal to the moles of your solute divided by your liters of your solution. Now, they want to know the grams of sugar, but remember, moles can be changed to grams when we think about our molar mass. Okay, so if I need to find grams, that means I need to really find moles. So if we plug in what we have, we know, um, and oftentimes it's just abbreviated as M is M-O-L divided by L. So we know that our concentration is 6 molar. We don't know how many moles there are. And our volume is 1.5 liters. So in order to get moles by itself, what we'll do is we'll multiply by 1.5 liters on both sides. This cancels out. And this tells us that our number of moles is going to be equal to 1.5 times 6 which is nine moles. So we're gonna have nine moles of our solute, which is sugar. Okay, now, sugar, <sighs> excuse me, sugar has a concentrate or a chemical formula of C6H12O6. Okay, so if I know that I need nine moles of C6H12, O6, I can determine how many grams I need by using the molar mass. So this will be just a one-step t-chart, very simple. Um, we'll need to calculate the molar mass of sugar. So we have carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, six carbons, 12 hydrogens, six oxygens, and we multiply by their mass on the periodic table, 12.01 for carbon, 1.01 for hydrogen, and 16 for oxygen. So 6 times 12.01 12 is 72.06. 12 times 1.01 .01 is 12.12. .12. And 6 times 16 is 96. And then we add it all together. And when we do that, we get 180.18 grams. So we put that in our t-chart where we have grams multiply by 9 and that tells us that the number of grant 9 moles would be the same as 1621.6 grams of sugar or C6H12O6 okay so I'm kind of showing you like just how we use that formula um, in an example problem um, and this one includes a t-chart not all of them will um, if you're not given grams and you're not looking for grams, you might not need to do a t-chart. Um, it could be simpler. So that is an example of how you do molarity, use the molarity formula and how you use uh, percent by mass. If you're looking for other videos that have other examples or things like that, check out the math videos in the rest of this playlist.